whole operation channel I wish to be into, but they don't have it anymore. So and now I just try to find the pimple poppers and the the toe doctor and all, <laughs> all these different people. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Do they? I mean, because I don't really watch this. I mean, it's funny. I've had people ask me, "What do you need?" And I'm like, "I do that stuff all day long." Yeah, and like I go home. And I mean, the only way I think you could watch it for you is to critique their methods. You know what I mean? It'd be more like. You're not doing it right. I mean, or, yeah, that's a way to do it, but it'd be better if you did Like, you know what I mean? But it wouldn't be fun for you. It'd be exactly. more like, exactly. you talking trash. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes, yes. So. Um, I can't feel my toes. That's what we want. Oh, okay. And I'm going to pinch them, too, before we start to make sure, because there is no... We do not continue if there's pain. Thank you, because I will probably have a heart attack. So. <laughs> I swear, Fair toe enough. pain is so bad. <laughs> it is. Like, ingrown, so these ingrown toenails is so bad. It's like, you be limping and just yeah. squinting, oh, and it's yeah. just horrible. Absolutely. Can't wear your shoes that you like. Absolutely. So is or what is the um, the healing or whatever? Okay, so um, they'll take about a month to heal, and here's the reason why. Uh, well, a couple reasons why. The acid is basically creating a burn. So if we just the acid is doing what? Creating a burn. A burn. It is, yeah. This is an uh -huh. actual low grade acid, and if I were to drop it on a non anesthetized area, hey Bernadette. Can you grab me another thing of Q-tips? You'll put a hole in it? Yes. Okay. Well, if I put a hole in it, it would actually burn. Oh, so, burn. Q-tips. Oh, Q-tips. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing both big toes. Okay. Um, so, it, it, it is an actual acid burn. So, acid burns typically, or burns in general, can take them away with you. So if we were just numbing it up and cutting it out, I usually tell people a week to 10 days because that's usually the older you get, things take a little bit longer to heal. So, oh, so the acid makes it take longer. Yes. Okay, so my toe needs to be wet, kept clean and dry and wrapped, right? Yes. Well, clean, clean and dry during the day. You can absolutely shower, keep it covered when you shower, soak it immediately afterwards. Because say, say it one more time. So when I get in the shower, then... Keep it covered and then soak it immediately after. So the instructions are going to be, you're going to soak it twice a day, warm water, Epsom salt, about 10 to 15 minutes. I have, I might have to buy some different kind of, because I have like, it's a... The scented, scented one? Yeah. yeah I, I usually don't recommend that, because yeah. sometimes that can cause, yeah, that can cause irritation Thank to you. the um, area, if it has a scent. Yeah. I usually recommend the unscented. Yeah, I might have to okay, I have got my drugstore. And also, um, I should have maybe, I should have mentioned this before, that medicine that you gave me for the antibiotics, I haven't finished it. That's okay, right? That's fine. You're gonna okay, yeah, so just keep that, taking that was, it. I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. Okay, because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to have finished this or whatever. No, 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 no. I did that on purpose. So you have it a couple of days afterwards because it is an open wound. And we don't want it to get infected. Of course not. So. Yeah, so you're gonna so far it. as me walking and standing, I still I should be fine yeah. with shoes and all that. I usually recommend Tylenol, Advil, whatever okay. you take for a headache, especially the first 24 hours. Take it, whatever it is, Q6 hours or Q8, okay. eight hours, or if you do leave, Q12 hours, whatever. Um, but yeah, no, you absolutely should be fine. If somebody steps on it, obviously you're going to know. I'm going to punch them in the face. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no, you absolutely should be okay to return to work and do all the things you need to do. Okay, cool. So, we're going to do a little experiment. This is sharp and pointy. And I'm going to touch you over here, which is why I prepped your second day. Feel that? That's why I'm not looking at you. But yeah, but you, does that feel the same? 
I feel nothing. I feel like you feel me touching. Yeah, not so not the so, pain part. So that comes from here's another little fun filled fact. If you ever get asked, you may get asked if you ever go on a cruise. Um, that comes from the descending columns or posterior columns of your spinal cord. We are not doing a spinal today. That is way excessive for this kind of procedure. So that you will feel pressure, which is why sometimes even with the epidural during childbirth, people will say if they have a C-section that they feel people moving and touching things down there. It's very hard. Oh, yeah, I have two cesareans and so, one epidural. Yeah. So you know that they oh, yeah. felt them moving oh, yeah. stuff. And mm -hmm. It didn't hurt, but it was, yeah. and that's yeah. because of that. Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, so. Yeah, I had a lot of different kind of stuff going on in my body. I was trying to go do something before we did this, but I was like, well, we, I don't want to be late. Because then I'll mess around and I probably would have changed, you know what I mean? Changed my mind. And we went to eat and then I was like, no, let's just go because... And you know I would have get jokes on you that you oh, yeah, and definitely. me again. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't want to hear that. <laughs> I am not a punk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at what was in your thigh. And yeah. that's what was causing you that peak. Yes. That was what was causing you all that pain. Look at this doctor tell I'm doing it myself. <laughs> and if if we look at how much nail was actually taken out, it really isn't that much. No, that's and what I was telling my all, grandma. It's not like it's gonna be my whole toy toenail. No, and that yeah. so all that stuff was buried in dug the inside of my skin. Yeah. That's what stupid was nails. So, you know But you say it's from trauma? Yep. So maybe when I was a kid or something? Yep. Yeah. Like kicking footballs and basketballs or whatever Absolutely. I was kicking. Because I was such a freaking Look tomboy. Look at this one. This one's even so athletes got to have the worst feet then in the world then. Uh, well, yes. But, the <laughs> but look at all that stuff. I mean, if you, even wow. if you compare the, the nail polish. Like, look at... Oops, oh, and that's all nail embedded? All that stuff that doesn't have nail polish is embedded in the side of your toe. Well, look. Stupid. I know I've seen it on the, you know, like I said on television before, but being coming out of my body is different. Absolutely. <laughs> Everyone else could have that problem. But see, that's how I, you know, diagnose myself with stuff. I research. Yeah. I have a pain, but I keep because you know, at first thing, everything they got cancer, well, and I'm like, okay, that's a little dramatic now. Come on. Well, uh, but if I told you, if I had a dollar for every time that somebody's told me I went on Dr. Google and I have cancer, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. Because they always say that. Yeah. Like, can you, can you not see the repetition? Yeah. Like, everything could probably possibly be cancer, but Absolutely. it possibly can, may not be, too. But we also have to look at probability, age ranges. Yeah, it's not. like, come on, what's more likely? You have cancer? And look, I've been in practice for oh my God, 10 years now. Okay. So I'm not going to say that I haven't had to get that diagnosis. Oh, that's a shame. But I probably can count on how, like... It was very year, rare. It yeah. Year. So it's not... And I've probably had these five to 10,000 patient encounters in my whole career. Oh, wow. Year. Okay. So if I can tell you, I can say on one hand that that's happened. Not very common. Is it any way, and, and you know, us brown folks, you know, we get labeled, but it, that you can prescribe me something, but maybe one or you, two pills. I'm going to give you a Tylenol 3. Yeah, you thank you. Just, so, in, just in case, because I, I do time. not want to be in pain. Because <laughs> can't nobody help me. No, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, I'll just be some, crying. <laughs> I will do some Tylenol 3. Thank you so absolutely, much. Absolutely. Because... You know that there have been studies done that black and brown folks' pain is dismissed more so than. Yeah, they think we don't feel it the same. Like, mm -hmm. are you freaking oh, yeah. kidding me? No, That's what it is, we hide it better. That's all. You know, if we get smacked, our face don't get red. <laughs> like, what? But, and that, 
Honestly, might be an evan. Nah, and this is completely off the book. There is no literature on this. Yeah, yeah. But if I, if you think about it, you know, when you, with the slaves, if they were shown pain, and we're not talking about any whippings or anything like that, but we're talking about for medical conditions, you would have gotten whipped. So yeah. if we can hide it and say that that's not, you know, that's yeah, that's called a, it's generational psychological yeah. thing that we've done. The same thing with men, you know, black men, they don't show uh, emotion as far as crying and stuff. Mm -hmm. So then they wind up being aggressive instead of emotional. You know what I mean? The wrong emotion. Absolutely. So it, Absolutely. it's just a, it's a curse of, the, you know, you think you're doing something good for right now, but it winds up being bad later on. Yep. Okay. And it's just and it has a biological effect. Yeah. The reason that, you know. There increased incidence of uh, high blood pressure in African Americans has to do with the fact of the retention of salt in your body because you weren't eating, you weren't drinking when you were out in the fields. That goes back, and that has been proven in a lot of papers. Yeah. So. But you know, I just, I'm 43, I just got on high blood pressure medicine mm -hmm. like a week ago. And everyone was like, well, join the club. I don't want to be a part of this freaking club. Like, it's no but fun here. Because your but it's, will I would have happened. No, I've gained a lot of weight since COVID. Oh, yeah. So I've always been in the range of about, I've always been big, but I put on, I'm over 300 now. You know what I mean? So it's like, my body's like, oh, uh, girl. So we about to give you all this old folks diseases <laughs> right now. Well, and, and you know, increased weight, there is a very high correlation with blood pressure, diabetes, yeah, and all that, and, that and I got it all. So, so if you can change, you know, make changes to your diet, exactly, increase your activity level, there is a chance, and I've had people, you know, reverse it. But as with the smoking, you have to I be know. on. It. And that's the thing. In order for me to increase my activity, I have to quit smoking because I can't move like I know I can because I can't <laughs> breathe. I would touch my face, but it's bloody gun, so you don't say. You say okay. what? I said I would touch my face and give you kind of a snarky look and say, "What's oh. that?" Yeah, <laughs> gotta quit smiling. So we're gonna do another test. Feel that? Does that feel the same? No. Good. That's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my girl wasn't gonna take that one because I watch it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've watched a lot of different ones, like uh, girls who were um, ballerinas with their messed up feet. and Well, and that's an actually an ad adaptive function. So hopefully what you were seeing, they weren't doing the surgery until after they quit dancing. Oh, yeah, they were done. Okay. Yeah, it was just their feet was just so... Like, she, I think she wanted to be a teacher, but she still would have to move a little bit. Oh, Her yeah. feet were so oh, messed no, 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 up. But, no, no, yeah. but in terms of... Her performing, no, performing, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that was yeah, over. That's actually a protective thing, and so there is a common mistake that sometimes doctors will do surgeries and can actually do more harm. Oh. Uh, so. yeah. oh, I'm glad I won't be in pain no more. Yeah. So, when do you think I can go get a pedicure then? I would probably. say probably about six weeks. Okay, six so weeks. I didn't take that one out. It's nicely. Yeah, because I, I don't know if I was I wasn't paying attention or not listening the first time you explained this to me. Because I'm thinking it's it's gonna be a sliver of toe left. <laughs> and I'm I like, said it. I, I know, was okay. so dag on it. Uh, it was, no, I no, should have no, took no. that surgery back then. So. <laughs> I always tell people that they're going to have a skinnier toenail because I have had patients come in and say, oh my God, I had no idea that my toenail would be skinnier. And I'm like, well, we're cutting it out. We're burning it. That, what did you think was going to happen? Yeah. Well, you know, so that's why I always presented that you are going to have a skinnier toenail. Yeah. That makes sense. You give them basically the, uh, yeah. That reaction because I feel like my my skin is gonna cover all that up. It's Absolutely. gonna go back, cover this all up. It's gonna look like see, it never happened. Exactly what you see here. 
And what you're going to see in a year from now is going to be night and day. Yeah. And I'm going to love listen, it. And listen, if somebody is up close and personal with your feet, absolutely will they be able to see it? Probably. <laughs> but is if it you're getting be- that close, you should already know. Come on, I'm 43, <laughs> bro. What you think? These I don't drive. These feet done seen a lot of road. <laughs> My girl wanted me to ask you something. I forgot what it was. I don't know. And she's going to yell at you and say, you didn't ask <laughs> Yeah, she was sitting out there. She might have left, though. Yeah, she was the one that brought me here when I got the surgery. With Dr. Sebastian did that. You know? And now she's bringing me here to this. <laughs> Well, then she's your good luck charm because honestly, I, I, if I'm going to be honest, I'm very surprised with how well that the bunion held out. And just because the deformity comes from your heel, not up here, this is kind of like the end all effect of mm-hmm. what happens. So usually people that have bunions done as kids, it, you're going to be in. Good turn. He yeah. told me about the time I'm 30, I need the other one done. Well, it's so funny. On my 30th birthday, that sucker started hurting. I said you cursed me, but it hasn't hurt since. It was almost just like a phantom pain. Maybe I had it always in my mind. And it probably and I, was some kind of like Yeah, you know, and I was like, oh I'm 30, my toe. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> but it hasn't hurt. Because I really believe that it was me, you know, like growing up, I grew up, you know, on the poor side, you know. And um it was wearing shoes that were too small. Nope. It wasn't? That's incorrect. I mean, I know it's the bone that's deformed. And it's genetics. Okay, my father had really bad feet. Yeah. Yeah, so jeans. He had them once. His his bunion was so bad, it crossed over his whole toe. Yeah, no, that's completely genetic. has nothing to do with shoe gear. Oh, really? Okay. Shoe gear will aggravate the pain. And yeah, it uh-huh. will feel worse, but no, it's absolutely your genes. Okay. So I have a friend, right? He has a bunion, and he keeps also getting a callus. Mm-hmm. And he feels like he doesn't want to get the callus treated because he really know it's the bunion that's causing the callus. But I'm saying, okay, you can't do the surgery right now for the bunion because of your job. You just started, whatever. I said, but I think they could do something to stop that callus from continuing. Whether they pref- tell you about uh, with a so, padding or whatever. I'm, I'm gonna give this five print obviously because you're recording me. Um, more than likely the callus is caused for the bunion so mm. there's nothing that you're going to be able to do to get rid of the callus and i have not seen him so i can't definitely say that mm-hmm. but more than likely you know i mean they can trim the callus down but more than likely it would come back okay so that's what he was saying he didn't want to go make an appointment for something that he's already doing his so far as like self-care yeah okay but if it, the calluses are really bothering him, he should get them trimmed back. He does it. He does just, those pads not. or whatever that, that yeah, soaks absolutely. some. He soaks his feet. He scrapes it. He does all that himself. But, you know, yeah, what it is, you got to get that surgery done, buddy. <laughs> Don't be a punk. I did it at 16. <laughs> but women do have... A much higher, I mean, I'm sure you've seen all the videos, especially now with TikTok, of men putting on the, uh, like, birth pain simulators, and you see them, like, on the floor, writhing in pain. Oh, there is a freaking hilarious. (laughs) It's freaking amazing how strong you can be, but then so weak at the same time, like, and they're like, you go through this every month? Yeah. I would die. I feel like it. And then when I tell you I'm hurting, you say you get over it. Uh, say it one more time then. Yeah. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> like if you kill someone while you're on your cycle, I think you should be, you just shouldn't get charged. Yeah. I was in pain. I was blinded by the pain. <laughs> so we went over the soaking. Take so should I soak it tomorrow? Or should I wait? Okay, you see the you saw the eye. No, okay. hell no. So good okay, tonight. Oh tonight. Here's the oh, reason. Okay. As the blood starts drying up, 
it's gonna hurt like bloody stink to get this dressing off. So the longer you leave it, ah. the more it's gonna hurt. So it's starting tonight, the okay. more water soaks with excess salt. Now, okay. the other common mistake people do. Remember, this is salt water. So I usually recommend a quarter of a cup of salt to about a gallon, gallon and a half of water. Why? They put too, because it'll burn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they put too much Epsom salt and not enough yeah. water. Yeah. Oh. I've had people come in, oh my God, that hurts so bad. Well, how much salt? Well, I poured the bag in. Okay, so Whoa. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be really bad. <laughs> Lots of things. Yeah, I grew up around Epsom salt. My grandfather used to 